Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to tell you about what is Power Platform CLI. CLI, as you might already be knowing it, stands for Command Line Interface. All right. So this um, Power Platform CLI has been uh, developed by Microsoft for the developers who are very much interested to work with this CLI, Command Line Interface. Now this command line interface can be used both for inner loop development or outer loop development. Now when I say inner loop development or outer loop development, it means that either you can uh, develop something new or you can enhance the existing tools which are already available using this CLI. So this Microsoft Power Platform CLI is a very simple it's a one-stop uh, developer CLI that empowers developers to perform various uh, operations in Power Platform, be it related to environment lifecycle, authentication, working with Dataverse, and so on. So this is a very important uh, topic which I wanted to uh, showcase you today. This is just an introduction uh, video for CLI. In this particular video, I am going to tell you the different ways to install this CLI. So we'll only be talking about the installation of Power Platform CLI in this video. Going forward, I will develop another videos which will talk about more advanced topic, maybe related to Dataverse environment tools or Dataverse development tools, how you can use it along with CLI. So in this video, as you can see here that uh, there is a command pack help. So when you run this command pack help in the terminal, maybe in Visual Studio Code, then you will see the different uh, command lines which are available given by Microsoft. These are called basically the command groups. So you can see here, these are the 19 command groups, for example, tool, help, data, admin, virtual agent, and so on, which will help you during the development process while working with Power Platform CLI. So now about this particular uh, video about the installation of Power Platform CLI, how you can install in your environment. So there are three ways in which you can install the Power Platform CLI. We will see all the three ways to install the Power Platform CLI in this video. First one is Power Platform Tools extension for Visual Studio Code. Okay, so let's see this in action. This is the Visual Studio Code I have opened. Maybe this is just an editor which definitely is freely available, freely downloadable. You can use it in your environment. I am going to the extension here. These are the extensions, what you have to do. This is the extension option in the Visual Studio Code. What you have to do, you have to search for just Power Platform. Just search for Power Platform. And when you search for the Power Platform, uh, there is an extension which is called Power Platform Tools. So what you have to do is you have to just click on this Power Platform Tools and click on Install. So what will happen? This will get installed in your environment. This is the a basic tool, a command line tool, which will help you in the Power Platform development. Maybe it will be used for packages, for the, for your environment lifecycle, for authentication, for code components. This is a very, very important extension, I will say, which you can definitely install in Power Platform. Uh, uh, with the name Power Platform Tools, you can install it as an extension in Visual Studio Code. Once this is installed, you will see this screen that this has been installed in your environment successfully. So this is the icon of Power Platform tool, which I have already installed in my environment. You can see this is the extension with the name Power Platform Tools. Once this is installed, what you have to do, you have to just connect to your tenant uh, with the proper credentials, uh, the tenant or the admin credentials. Once you are connected, it will show you all the environments and the solution which are there in your Power Platform environment. Once this is done, what you have to do, you have to open the terminal. How you can open the terminal? You have to just press Control, Shift, and P. Once you will uh, click Control, Shift, P on your keyboard, you can see this Power Platform CLI show pack help. I have clicked on it, and then the terminal has opened. And now you can see these are the different command line tools which are available at main application, auth, canvas, having different, different purposes. We'll talk about the different purposes of the different command groups in subsequent videos. But this is the one way of installing the Power Platform CLI. Let's go back to our uh, PPT. The second way is side loading. Side loading, uh, how you can install the Power Platform CLI using side loading. For that, we'll jump to the third option directly from the marketplace. Now, from the marketplace directly, you can install this extension if you don't want to install it from the Visual Studio extensions. So for that, what you have to do is you have to go to a URL marketplace.visualstudio.com. Here you will see different tabs for Visual Studio, Visual Studio Code, Azure DevOps, and so on. 
So what you have to do, go to the second tab, Visual Studio Code, and just search for again Power Platform. This is another way I'm telling you to install uh, the Power Platform CLI in your environment. So what it will do, it will search for the Power Platform tool extension for you. You just click on it, and from here also you can install in your environment. This is the second way of installing. The power platform CLI in your environment. The other way I was talking about the side loading. Now, what is the definition of south side loading? That sometimes it happens in many companies because of the firewall issues or policy issues. This installation directly is not possible or it's not allowed basically. So what you have to do is there is an option called download extension. You click on this uh, link here. A VSIX dot VSIX file will be downloaded locally in your system. Or in your laptop. So when you click on this download extension, a extension file that uh, the extension file having the extension dot vsix will be downloaded in your environment. What you have to do once it is downloaded, again you have to navigate to the uh, Visual Studio. And since the file is downloaded, what you can do is go to the extension. There are three dots here. What you have to do, click on these three dots, and there is an option called Install from vsix. So this is the third option which I have showed you that how you can install the Power Platform CLI in your environment. So let's uh, uh, let's get the summary of the installation again very quickly. The installation can be done in three ways. First is using the Visual Studio Code extension directly in Visual Studio Code. Second is through the marketplace. The marketplace URL is marketplace.visualstudio.com. And the third uh, way could be the side loading means install, installing or downloading the extension file locally and then installing it using the option which is available in Visual Studio Code. So that's all in this video. Uh, I will suggest that please go through what is Power Platform CLI and the description. In the description, you will find the link, the official link of this Power Platform, Microsoft Power Platform CLI. Thank you.